What are the tax consequences of rolling a 401k to a self-directed IRA? Hey everyone, Adam Bergman here, tax attorney and founder of IRA Financial. Today's video, we're gonna be discussing the 401k distribution rules, or I should say rollover rules, and then what are some of the things to think about if you're doing a rollover of 401k funds to an IRA? So let me just start with the basics. When money is moved between IRAs, that's called a transfer, and that's tax-free. You can do an unlimited amount of transfers as you wish. Custodian to custodian, bank to bank. An indirect rollover is when the IRA funds go to the IRA owner first and then to the custodian. That can be done only once every 12 months, and you only have 60 days to use those funds before you have to return them to the IRA. If you don't, it becomes taxable and potentially subject to a 10% penalty. A rollover is when non-IRA funds, like 401k funds, are sent to an IRA. Transfers and rollovers are essentially the same thing. Generally, they're tax-free. IRA to IRA, direct, tax-free, unlimited amount of times. 401k to IRA, rollover, unlimited amount of times, tax-free. But, here's the big but. 401k plans have what's called triggering event rules. So unlike an IRA where if you're 31 or 37 or 46, you can just roll your IRA from Schwab to Fidelity or from Schwab to IRA Financial anytime you want, unlimited amount of times tax-free. If you're in a 401k, you don't have that flexibility. You need what's called a triggering event. A triggering event means this. You either have to be over the age of 59 and a half, leave your job, or the plan terminates to do a rollover, a tax-free rollover of 401k funds to a self-directed IRA. Yeah, I know. Sounds crazy, right? Makes no sense. Why does IRA and 401k rules differ? Don't know. One's taxed under 408, one's under 401, different rules. So if you work at IRA Financial or Twitter or Netflix or Google, Salesforce, and you're under 59 and a half and you still are working, can't do a rollover to an IRA. Even if you really want to, you don't have access to those funds. The only way you'll get access to those funds are either through a loan, you can borrow 50,000 or 50% of your account value, whatever's less, use that for any purpose, but you better make sure you're paying back that loan, because if you don't, you'll be subject to tax and potentially 10% penalty. Or you can try to satisfy a hardship, whether it's medical or financial, but it may not be so easy. So again, under 59 and a half, currently employed, don't plan on leaving, can't do a rollover to a self directed IRA. Whereas if you had an IRA, you'd be able to do an IRA to IRA transfer without any triggering event. So those are the most important things to consider. If you have a 401k and want to consider a rollover to a self directed IRA, your age is paramount and what your employment position is. If you're leaving your job, then you will have a triggering event, even if you're under 59 and a half, and you can just do a tax-free rollover to an IRA. Or if there's some type of business merger or plan termination, you'll also get that triggering event. But otherwise, you're gonna have to wait to hit 59 and a half or leave your job. Otherwise, you're just going to keep investing the way it's being invested now in the 401k, whether it's through mutual funds, ETFs, or stocks but you will likely not have the opportunity to do a rollover to a self-directed IRA and invest in alternative asset investments.